Hey folks, welcome back to the Transplant Over again today. My name is Jim Merle, and today we're going to be talking yet again about medication management, specifically answering some questions about some issue a viewer is having concerning maintaining a level prograph level in their bloodstream. They basically tell me they've had some difficulties in the last few months. So in a nutshell, I won't read you everything they've said, but basically they said, Jim, I'm about two years post-transplant. Up until this point, I've not had really any issues at all keeping my prograph or tacrolimus levels just right in my bloodstream but as of late there have been some major fluctuations there's been several changes and it seems we just can't get things straightened out well there could be many many reasons why that is the case but let me suggest to you or anybody else watching this the very first thing you need to do if your prograph level kind of makes a change suddenly whether it's a spike or a dip is to reach down grab your medicine bottle and take a look at it make sure for one that you're taking the exact right doses it just could be that the pharmacy has made a mistake. Perhaps they filled that prograph with a different dosage. You may be taking five milligram tablets instead of one or vice versa. It could be something like that, albeit that's going to be very rare. More than likely, through looking at that same medication bottle, what you might discover is that although the medication itself seemingly hasn't changed as far as the dosage, the milligrams, there could have been a change in the manufacturers. Okay, and that's one of the things that's been happening an awful lot, essentially, or especially kind of post COVID. COVID. There's been quite a few shortages of different things throughout this time. There's been actually a shortage on ProGraph from time to time. Not that it's been completely out of stock, but in the fact that some of your pharmacies are having to reach out to different manufacturers to get that ProGraph and to make it available for you. And for example, there is a major, major difference between a ProGraph bottle that says it's manufactured by Dr. Reedy's versus one that may say it's manufactured by Estella or Accord or there are a handful of other manufacturers manufacturers that actually produce this stuff and basically it comes down to the fact that the main ingredients in that are always going to be the same okay they meet really really strict standards as far as the main ingredients however each manufacturer does have just a smidgen of liberty in there to put different or various fillers in that medication and that's where the problem may lie those fillers depending on what they are may cause your body to absorb those things differently maybe absorb more or less or whatever then you would see those spikes and perhaps those dips coming in in your prograph level. Now, it's not to say that you should take one over the other and never take another. It's just simply to say that if that manufacturer changes, you can basically expect there may be some fluctuation in your prograph levels. And in order for that to truly be consistent, you've got to stick with the same manufacturer. Now, for me personally, depending on the manufacturer, there are some I just don't touch at all. I've actually done videos before about Dr. Reed program look it up I'll try to link the video up here in the description below I'm not taking Dr. Reedy's okay there have been tons and tons of documented instances where Dr. Reedy's medication and their manufacturing process is just not up to par and so you're gonna have a lot of people and have had continue to have Cleveland Clinic has even noted the fact that there have been a lot of people that have a lot of difficulties and a lot of fluctuations in their program levels if they start taking program or tacrolimus manufactured by Dr. Reedy. So I would tell you up front, if you're taking Dr. Reedy's, I would try to find a different manufacturer and get away from that altogether. Granted, some of you may have good luck with that or maybe have had no issues. I'm thankful for that. But in general, I would avoid them. Other companies, like I mentioned, Estella or Accord Health, make a little bit better, it seems, grade of prograph. And if you're blessed enough to get on one of those, if you can keep it consistent and not change manufacturers, that's probably the best case scenario. That's probably the scenario you're going to want to be in because they do keep a pretty high standard, even including the fillers. Hence, there's not as many issues, not as many fluctuations. But even then, you could experience not necessarily a spike or a drop in your prograph level, but I have, uh, with a cord at least, with a cord, my eyes burn all the time. It's like they're dry, they're itchy, that sort of thing. So I've had to request, even from my pharmacy, that we don't make any changes outside of what really works for me. So that's not to say a cord is bad or not to say that Dr. Reedy's is terrible, albeit I'll admit I'm not touching the stuff. I'd advise you to stay away from it. But you know, you could have good luck with one or the other. What I'm saying is the key is to make sure whatever medication you're on, make sure that you kind of get to know the manufacturer. And then if that is to change at the pharmacy level, just make note of that and see how things work out. I've even had my transplant team before send out letters and say, hey, Mr. Merle, we've got some 
time our patients have been moved from one manufacturer to another, come on in and get some blood work. Let's see if that has affected you. I've done that, not had that type of effect yet, thankfully knock on wood but at the same time just just look out for that okay so number one look at your doses make sure the milligrams are right number two look at the manufacturer see if there's been a change and if then there's still an issue there all you can really do then is keep going back to your team and be sure you carry in really good documentation as far as what your diet your exercise you know you, it could be a factor where you've gained or lost weight that could change that there's a lot of other smaller factors albeit not as common that could be affecting you. So I hope this helps out in some way. And until next time, stay stronger, my friends.